Welcome. Doing well, you guys and girls. Um, uh, this is Clayton. Um, I forgot all you guys these because I've been having different the three experiences and three guys with a white light. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I really didn't pick up on much before doing this reading. I'm gonna be honest. Um the only thing that I really just kept like just kept pressing my spirit kind of heavy was that some of you guys need to all that's doing that but you may have somebody around you that's doing this. Um, like they know they may like need your help or whatever, but instead of accepting help from you, they push you away because of pride. And I'm feeling that real, whatever. Um, just because I heard like a, a, something happened today where that was displayed where somebody needed somebody, this is nothing personal, y'all, but I saw this uh, between, I was on uh, Facebook, and I saw it was a business person who had a business, but very, like, particular about they did business, and I shouldn't be, but this person was, like, doing it out of hatefulness or whatever, wasn't doing business with people because of she was feeling like they didn't like her or whatever. Like the people wanted to do business with her, but she didn't want to do business with her. So then when I heard a sermon, lo and behold, because they kind of bothered me a little bit because I'm like, if business is business, you know what I'm saying? That kind of bothered me a little bit. But then when I heard the sermon today or whatever, uh, the pastor was talking about the chief cornerstone. And he brought up, I forgot what scripture and everything, but he was saying how God had led people to, uh, his children to certain people. And when the, the his kids would get there, people would abuse them and use them and even kill them or whatever. And so people didn't even recognize that God was sending his children. So that has been heavy in my heart because I'm, I'm thinking, I'm like, you know what? God could be sending some of you all to people and they looking at you as the enemy versus have God sent this person to help me? And in the, I can't think, I forgot what scripture you got it from, but these people were actually killing their help. So I don't know who needs to hear this, but y'all, people are not trying to help who wouldn't with her friends and I'm sure she probably was the light of the group and they couldn't take it because she was exposing them for who they were and so they ended up doing what they did to for those of you who know so alright yeah so some of y'all whoever needs to hear this I hope that I can encourage you to uh, still continue to press forward don't give your pearls to swine if People, you know, don't recognize that God has sent you to help them. Go about your business. Okay? I'm sorry, but that was pressing in my spirit. Heavy, y'all. All right. What does the collective need to know? The Knight of Cups. So some of y'all, y'all about to get like a love invitation. Um, Somebody wants to team up with you. You could be a water sign or Capricorn. You could be a Pisces, Scorpio. Scorpio, Pisces. I always, is this the water signs that I always do this with? Scorpio, Pisces. <laughs> I cannot stand when this happens to me. Capricorn. We do have Capricorn on the board. This is the collaboration. So maybe a Capricorn wants to collaborate with a water sign or a water sign is wanting to collaborate with a Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo. Virgo is, y'all, I am tripping. I'm tripping. So some of y'all look, Ten of Swords. 
some of y'all could be having like brain fog or like, you know, just not able to really think properly. That's not good. All right. So, and with this 10 of wands, somebody could have betrayed you, could have left you for ruin, not seeing your worth and you, who whoever this resonates with, they want to end because the 10 is the is end and they want to end whatever betrayal um ruin whatever plan they devised to hurt you it could have been multiple things. Uh, is wanting to come in to be going to come in to apologize to this queen of cups the queen of cups is somebody who is very sweet very uh nice comparing this is the that um gets a lot of attention but her, the attention that she get is because people see how she is such a giving person when you think of a, a queen of pentacles this is someone who they give emotions to people like you can go up to this person and be like oh my god i'm having such a bad day this is the type of person that is going to console you and make you feel better about everything and somebody has seen this in um that person and now they're wanting to just looking at this person be all the good deeds that this Queen of Cups have done. The Queen of Cups is someone who is highly intuitive as well. So this Queen of Cups knows how to manage her emotions when it comes to certain situations. So if there's like a battle going on, this is the type of person that's going to bring peace to okay? And somebody took notice of it. That's why they're coming in wanting to balance things out and they're going to invite this queen of pentacles like on a i mean queen of cups like on a date or something like that and offer them something there's an offer that's going to be given to this queen of cups let's see give me something on the knight of cups look and what's on put that woman first yeah, whoever this king, I'm, I keep saying king, whoever this knight of cups is, they are going to make it very public and known that they want to give this queen of cups a cup of love, a cup of an apology, a cup of understanding, compassion, you know, um, this this Knight of Cups has went in inward to figure out how to make up with this Queen of Cups. He's a Knight of Cups. She's a Queen of Cups. So he's, you know, he still got the, you know, little Playboy ways in him or whatever. But, um, Whoever this Knight of Cups is, this Knight of Cups is going to come and, you know, try to make things right with this Queen of Cups. But this person has did inner work. This person probably could have even seen like a tarot reader or something like that. I saw a reading on, um, on you know, YouTube or somewhere or something. But this person got spiritual knowledge and there's a secret here. There's a secret that this Knight of Cups is holding on. Yeah, see the Knight of Pentacles. This King of Cups, and I keep saying King, this Knight of Cups has taken his precious time to work on whatever this is because this Knight of Cups knows that he wants this King of Cups. They match when it comes to emotions, to when it comes to love, compassion, they match, except that this Knight of Cups could be a little fickle when it comes to that. This Queen of Cups is solid in her stuff. Give me some on this Queen of Cups. Yeah, see, this <laughs> this Queen of Cups don't see this coming. 
don't see this coming, but this is also the Queen of Cups have a decision to make. Yeah, this Queen of Cups, um, it's like she don't even see what's really happening. She don't even know that this is about to happen, the Queen of Pentacles. Cups could be in and just and her years, her dreams, you know, putting her energy into like her kids. The cups is usually a, a bathing mom who has she's probably this could have played this queen of cups. Let's see. Give me something on the three of pentacles. Oh. Uh oh, the moon. Uh uh. Uh oh. So, whatever this collaboration is, this is something that is being hidden from this Queen of Cups. This Queen of Cups don't know what is going on. She is like blinded. You see her? Look at this uh, girl with the... Around her, the lovers and the fool and the eight of pentacles. So, whoever this knight of pentacles is, he is working very hard. He has studied this queen of cups to know what it is she likes, who she's interested in, where she likes to go. He knows the, the who, what, when, where, how of her. And he is wanting to take this leap of faith and go on a new journey with his divine counterpart. He feel like this is destiny, like this is something that God has given him. Okay. I'm going to clarify with the cosmic insights. Y'all, this is just a little short read. This is a, just because a little quick read. Give me a cosmic uh, on the Knight of Cups. He's fine. I told y'all. He's fine. Someone's got their eye on you. You are doing your research. He is, look, for a honeymoon. I cannot make it up. Y'all, don't be surprised if this Knight of Cups don't ask to uh, whoever this Queen of Cups is to take you on a little vaca vacation. I heard vacation. Change your residence, moving in with your partner. And look, Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Oh, okay. Give me some on this Queen of Cups. A narcissist. Someone, yeah, that's how this, this Queen of Cups is feeling. Someone was too full of themselves. Um, and it says, getting a new pet, giving a current pet more love. So this Queen of Cups looked at this Knight of Cups like a dog. But it's saying, <laughs> I just made that up, y'all. But that's what I'm getting. She looked at him like a pet, like a dog. Like, you just, you know. And like this person was a narcissist. And that's why she like blinded to the fact that this person is about to come in and sweep her up off of her feet. It's saying it is not the right right time and a lost loved one watch over you. Hmm. And then it has commitment. Things are getting serious. So this, this Queen of Cups is protected by her guardian angels and 
what I'm getting is like they're guiding her not to just rush into things with this Knight of Cups person. Give me something with this. You're a gold digger. They want your money and being used. Wait. And use your intuition. The red flags you ignore now will come back and bite you later. Wait. So is the Queen of Cups? The Narcissist? Y'all. Change of residence. Moving with partner. These cards. Let me see. Give me some on the Knight of Cups. Competition, enemy, clever. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. That's probably why that Queen of Pentacles was coming out. Because the Queen of Pentacles came out and was saying that there was a betrayal. So either this Queen of Cups betrayed the Queen of Pentacles, or the Queen of Pentacles betrayed the... Queen of Pentacles either betrayed the Queen of Cups or the Queen of Cups betrayed the Queen of Pentacles. And out of the, those two, somebody is a narcissist. And there's competition going on amongst this group. It says not enough. Frustrated in a relationship. Lack of confidence. Self-sabotage. I say sabotage. Sabotage. Fear, ego issues, and jealousy. Oh my God. So when this Knight of Cups come towards this Queen of Cups, because that's what I am getting, there's going to be jealousy, hate, envy, and all of that. Let me see. Give me some on this Queen of Cups. Narcissist and getting a new cat. What? That don't even make sense. Yeah, like this. Um. I'm telling you, this Queen of Cups feels like this Knight of Cups is a narcissist and like a dog. It says it's endings. Look, the coffin with the camera. So this, look, this Queen of Cups is no longer like reminisce or um, focus on this. And she's blind and she don't know that this Knight of Cups, and look, love call, he is about to call her because he feels like this is his soulmate. And they will have abundance together because this is a twin flame union. Give me some on this three of pentacles. Engagement ring. I like you. Yes, so this, that's what, okay, this queen of cups feel like she has been used by, that's why the gold digger card came out, but it's saying use, what's this, the red flag, what is these red flags? I can't leave y'all without finding out what these red flags is. It landed on the Queen of Cups. Keys on a ring. Many options, decisions, unconventional. String along, one night stand. But it's in the reverse. So what I'm getting is that this Queen of Cups was concerned about this King, I keep saying King, Knight of Cups being a uh, male, W-H-O-R-E. Well, it's saying if that's what she was worried about, she don't have to worry about it anymore because he's not doing it. Look, he has evolved. The butterfly. He's ended that and now he he's evolving. And right here, that's why that snake landed on him because back then he was a snake. Now he has turned into a butterfly. Ooh, y'all took me for a loop with this one. All right, y'all, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. I am going to end your reading right here. This is just, uh, just because. And, guys, be blessed. Have a great Saturday. Be blessed, guys.